There's a left upper cut. Staggered. He uh, had a great fight with him. Oh, good counter left hand lands for Rigondeaux. Rigondeaux really tightening up with that high. Time Rigondeaux <laughs> scores with the left. Oh. oh, right hand by Solis. When red colors the Venezuelan flag and immediately. And toward the end of the round. Yeah, there's the hook again. That left uppercut, which we talked about before, the great movement by Rigondeaux and the straight left. And then he's a former belt holder at 115 pounds. 22 pound champion who is, well, nearing the age of 40 and yet a two time Olympic gold medalist as we go to the tail of the tape. Yeah, Rigondeaux, even though he has been at higher weights when he rehydrated tonight. Bantamweight Championship of the World. His record 30 wins, five losses, one draw. Liborio. His record stands at 19 wins, one loss, and tonight, in his 11th world title appearance, Rigondeo. Y aquí estamos bien. Suerte para los dos. Bell and round one, Guillermo Rigondeo. Rigondeo really tightening up with that high. Police attacking. Attack. Really tight defense of, of, of Rick. Tactical form that made him a two-time Olympic gold medalist. This fight, what misjudging about distance, Rigondale has. He's going to be the opposite. The guy that always had trouble getting fights. So, he, oh, good hook there by Solis. Another hake of cards when he stopped Sam his last fight. And Solis with a great start here. Not a great start for the Cuban. And again now, Tom Rigondale yeah. scores with the left. Oh. oh, right hand by Solis. When red colors the Venezuelan flag and immediately. They make, make Solis pay. And there's a first punch by. But that's why Solis is also trying to go to the body. That's a really bothers Solis. Shields wanted Rigondeo to go back to. Will publish the uh, diet he has used at the age of uh, 39. To... <laughs> well, Seha got in some great left hooks and had Rigondeo. In... Rigondeo's body language. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. There's a left hand, and yet he's going to the body. 40% of the punches he and lands. Rigondeo played the fistic firefight with Julio Seha. Oh, Rigondeo. And his distances and his positioning at all at, at all times. Holding on and then firing off the left. Hand, but it looked like that punch made here. And it's all Solis. That, that big shot of trying to fight long. Wow, wow, Solis is just unloaded. Wow, interesting start. The inside is the left hook oh, of Solis push. that gets in. Zerigan the out, keeping his hands very low and, and getting nailed. Number two. And Solis. Finca, the farm in Cuba, and I mean the school of Cuban boxing, that's... So at least he's trying in this round by pumping the jab. This is all about bringing the pressure, and he brought the pressure in round one. Cuban defector. Well, in Rigondeaux's youth, I mean, even this style that he's doing here. Pound for pound, staple, Vasily Lomachenko, where Lomachenko... Is, yeah, Rigondeaux is a lot smaller. Yeah, and, and you can even see it by... Dirt. Plenty of action in the opening round as Solis goes to the to fight. And now let's see if Rigondeau tries to keep some distance. You know, landing 28 according to show stats and it, off 100 punches. You know, it was just last round. Rigondeau played that. Captain Lomachenko. Yeah, Lomachenko is kind of the ghost floating around here. <laughs> it can happen when you have orthodox versus southpaw. You know, even though Rick is. <laughs> so counter. The body. He is a terrific body puncher. And if he's. And left hooks? Yeah, there were some tremendous left hooks. Round number three, Solis um, bobble to the 115-pound uh, title that, well, he lost. Yeah, all good good champions the way division, but in a way, of course, distance, Rigondeau can get that left hand in. And Rigondeau, I think it's the thing about Rigondeau. Look at the, look at the distance they're at. He's, he's, he's right in front of you. He's a decent champ. He doesn't use it a lot, but I think right now he needs that. Gold medals before he got in trouble with his... Rigondeau able to... Solis from... Going all out like he did in the open. Yeah, this is the first lefty that uh, Solis has uh, had a great fight with him. Oh, good counter left hand lands for Rigondeaux. Uh, flying uh, carelessly and then make him pay. Right hand lands. For... By the way, Rig gold medalists were Teofilo Stevenson, Felix Sol eat up the real estate. Solis allowing him to move left. Let's go to Jim Gray. All right, Mo. Number four, scheduled for 12. 
we talked about, and he was able to definitely win that round. These last two rounds are five amateur fights. Uh, that includes the amateurs also. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Some people have not liked his uh, defensive style. And here we are in the Pennsylvania Power and Lighting Arena, and Rigondale trying to bait Solis to throw the punch, and he does, and then how can Solis help his cause, Polly? To just throw a shot, even though he's in position, because Rigondale will make him pay. That's the only loss that Rigondale's had in 17. He should be much more yeah. than, than he has been. Now. That's everything other than the jab. And most of those were landed. We'll see if there's an uptick in the power as Solis target. Straight left or the left uppercut when Solis comes in. Set the punch and can make him pay. So I think you unset, you, he knows that too, and he's not really throwing a lot of shots. Let's go to Let's go out to Johnny Bumpus family and everyone who loved him great. And Rigondeo, the south pop. Trying to very tough, but here's the thing about these rounds since round one. That, they, you know, they're uh, clearly uh, rigging. The, so he's trying to get in with the jab, and when he does that, it goes eight and one in uh, championship fights. So this is uh, neither man. You know, they beat strong. Uh, I mean, uh, just uh, too old or too defensive. He says he there, wants maybe, to yeah. turning fire after a frenetic first round where he threw nearly. Judges may also be giving rounds for aggression yeah. because he's not. A it's interesting, the sweet science and prize fighting. Minute left in the fifth, Rigondeo showcasing his defense, but... ...tactical, um, but he needs to be offensive. We're gonna be judges will be tempted to just give it to the guy who's coming forward. Especially with the 40 punches this round, so neither man is throwing a lot. Matchup. Let's go to Jim Gray. Thank you very much for your time. We're ready to watch you. Thank you, sir. Okay. So normally, as I mentioned at the beginning, Corn Lineal, the man who beat the man who beat the man 100 and... Mo, I have Solis ahead by one point. Obviously, the first round with the first, and Solis a couple of them as well. I think it's a close fight. Looking to become... Another title holder, title is Jorge Linares. Yeah, yes. Now in this round, as we've seen Lara in fights of the year, yeah. and now what? And a lot of that is because early in the first round, he was able to. That signature victory we alluded to, beating then lineal champion Nonito Donaire. Just because Solis is aggressive doesn't mean he should win the round. People should keep him. Uh, Steve, and, uh, it was a, a, a win because Solis has thrown double the number of punches, has got. Like, but I'm sure Ronnie Shields would also like to see a little more. 40% of his total connects are to the body. Today, it is scores after that. Uh, there haven't been very many. Ellis at 108 pounds. There's been 32 champs from. Now has landed virtually nothing. So this is around seven. We can't give rounds away, okay? We cannot give rounds. And you got to dominate this fight. I mean, you know, I know you think he's a chicken and he's run. Well, I thought Ronnie Shields was exactly right. You have to engage, and then he wasn't so active, even even if he was walking him down, because he knew this. The day I went he, and, and speaks to what Pauly said in front. Metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> and then look it upstairs again. Uh, Lara having those defensive efforts. Oh, there he is. There's a there's a left over here, Stagger! Staggered! He's got a shot! Down. And there again, Solis staggered! Yes. <laughs> Explosion! Solis is... And again, that left uppercut by Rigondeo. I think Rigondeo should go to the back. Punches in the last round, and, and landed one according to show stats. There's a left... Solis held up by the ropes, <laughs> referee Estevez. Okay, Jack in the box, the Jackal unloads! He's older, but... And again, the left hand, another timing. left hand! Around after going down for the fifth time in his second day, attacking the body again with the left. Ronnie Shields asked for shot in, landed a really beautiful left hook as they trade down and 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 making the count there, which kind of saved round number eight. Scott. Big advantage when it comes to records past round seven. It's attack, but not returning fire with any sustainability. Uh, even after you're pressuring him, he can come up There's with some explosive shot. He brings power down with him, and if, in fact, a less appealing one in terms of action, but making his debut at 118 against a former 115 pound title here at the PPL Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Again, Rigondeo scores Steve Farad. He has this fight deadlocked. And would certainly be a weight where it brings some power down to him. 
I suppose they could borrow from each other. The first fight could use a little bit of a defense. He's throwing a lot back of his own as Rigondale continues. Uh, Rigondale threw a shutout uh, in the last round. <laughs> and uh, wants you to just paint a word picture of what... Almost part of the plan for Rigo to sort of lure him in and, and, and bait him in was to maybe up it up the hurtful shots in the second half of the fight. Where punches landed again, everything other than the jab, and you can see how it's tightened up. Hey, those shots got, got in. He did get hurt, but his intent even in round one. Do a much better job of trying to corral Rigondale. You see Maybe the difference against the incredible speed uh, of Russell. Big oh, shot a again. counter. Guys to do in his prime. Or so he's going to continue to take changes. Oh, my that's goodness. Yeah, that's for sure. That was on this pressure moment, but now he's taking even less chances. And then Rigo better, as opposed to just making a miss now. He's also trying to make him pay. And when he, and he does that, uh, and, and he can't do that against him. Allentown of Pennsylvania. That round 10 produces a little <laughs> exactly. It's a delightful uh, group. How do. And yet he's shown his power. He is to and is camaraderie filled a group as I know the, the round he knocked him down yep. right before that. Ronnie had told him, Don't stand right in front of him. Shot oh, him again. Oh, again. Thompson. Left hand. The rounds. Again, Rigondeau goes downstairs, avoids the attack. When Solis has the best chance to win the fight is when Rigo's doing nothing at all. No, that's you know, true. But Shields had told him, great trainer Ronnie Shields, he told him, you know, you can move around. But Deon loading with the left and another left is Solis stand. Solis, I think Solis, Solis was probably better off than Rigo in front of him and make this a fight on the inside where they engage. Start right. pissing him off and <laughs> you're going you're gonna to remind and him to throw those power shots. Let's go. Here we go. Wake up. Of classic move, and then lands that beautiful straight left hand. So, well, Paulie made a raging bull reference earlier. So, well, we've touched on throughout the fight. Fighters in lighter weight classes mature. When these fighters get to the championship corner, when they suggest to him that he needs to make something, probably make something. Dale's up by one point. There's a right hand. Rigondeo doesn't exactly respect the power of reasons is sort of unappreciated. I know it's not a lot of action many times. At 39, you can't move a lot. He's moving, but you see he's not killing his legs. In the fight. And now Rigondeo, the biggest truce about themselves here as Rigondeo is touring their late 30s, fighting at 118 pounds. It would seem Rigondeo would be ahead into that right hand and then he was able to parry it with his left i think that's the part the he needs part is especially madam asking you to knock him out you got to put the pressure on he able to do it 12th and final round they touch gloves and ronnie shields showed us why he's a fantastic trainer to let solis know listen don't come out of pocket solis coming in vision victory we're into the final well less than two minutes here what's uh Rick? you know we talk about his footwork but it's not like he's been running he's been in punching range really wanting to secure the round as it were as Knockdown. That's been the only knockdown of the fight. And he wants to make sure there's no chance that in those middle rounds. I draw on the 12th and final round of our opener. Oh, the soles of his feet instead of through his gloves. He still has some of the. the, the well, he's in range soles. almost the entire fight. There's a right hand. That PPL Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Letting them know. Rigondale stabs Solis in the midsection with a jab. Interesting here, Paul. Well, you know, he's basically wasting all the energy he didn't. <laughs> and we have a split decision here. The score total 115 to 112. Guillermo El Chacon. And uh, wins a secondary title at 118 pounds.